supply and demand last from learning target four or five, I can show and explain a surplus and shortage of a product. What we're actually going to do before we get to surplus and shortage is put supply and demand together and determine the equilibrium price and equilibrium quantity of a product. And then in this lesson, we'll get to surplus and shortage. We've looked at supply and demand in isolation. Now let's put them together to find the market price or the equilibrium price and equilibrium quantity of a product. So how in a market economy, how are prices determined? Uh, why when you walk into a store is the particular price of a good, whatever it is? Why do gas prices seemingly every day go up by a little or go down by a little? What determines that? What are the forces at play there? And it's the forces of supply and demand. Also, why is there however much of uh, whatever good it is, why is there that much that was made? What exactly determines that? Again, it's the interplay of supply and demand. And we have our stake market here, price on the y-axis, quantity on the x-axis. Axis. Again, it has to be that way. Supply schedule at the upper left there, we said that as the price goes up, quantity supplied goes up because of that profit motive. If you're a stake supplier and you, the only thing you're considering is the price that you can get for making steak, you have the incentive to make more of it. And there's our supply curve for steak. On the demand side, or demand schedule at the lower left, as price went up, quantity demanded went down, just the opposite. If you have to pay more for something, and that's the only thing you're considering, then you're not going to buy as much of it, and everybody else throughout the market isn't going to buy as much of it either. And there was our demand curve, downward sloping. You can see they cross, and at the point they cross, that is equilibrium. Now, more importantly is how it's defined. Market equilibrium is the price where quantity supplied equals quantity demanded. At $10, quantity supplied is 30, and quantity demanded is 30. So the equilibrium price of stake in this example is $10, and the equilibrium quantity of stake is 30. Now that equilibrium quantity, it's both, in equilibrium, it's both quantity supplied and quantity demanded. So here, 30 stakes are gonna be made, and 30 stakes are sold. Moving to surplus and shortage, why is $10 equilibrium? Or let's say you walk into a store and the price of steak is something other than $10. What type of situation is going to occur? Let's say you go to the store and the, the equilibrium price of steak is $10, but for whatever reason, the price of stake was priced at 15. Well, at $15, look on the graph, and you can see that the quantity supplied of stake is 40. At $15, 40 stakes are going to be made. But at $15, the quantity demanded was 20. Only 20 stakes will be sold. Quantity supplied 40, quantity demanded is 20. This is called a surplus. Surplus is excess supply, a situation where at a particular price, quantity supplied is greater than quantity demanded. More of the product gets made than is sold. You have stuff left over on the shelf. In order to clear a surplus, the price would have to decrease. Now let's say this product was priced at $5, a price lower than equilibrium. What type of situation would occur? Well, if the equilibrium price is 10 and this product in the store was at $5, the quantity demanded would be 40. 40 people would want to buy steak, or 40 steaks would want to be bought. But quantity supplied is only 20. At $5, steak producers only have the incentive to make and supply 20 steaks to the market. What, given the cost or given the you know, how much they're making off of making the steaks. So here, quantity demanded is greater than quantity supplied. This type of situation is called a shortage. There's a shortage of steaks. 40 steaks, 40 people want to buy steaks. Only 20 get made. So there's excess demand. In order to clear this situation, 
the price would have to increase. Stop and think, answer this question, pause the video. In the market for wheat where the equilibrium price is $3 a bushel, which of the following would be true if in the market wheat was priced at $5? The answer is C. At $5, a price higher than the equilibrium price of $3, quantity supplied would be greater than quantity demanded for wheat, and that would be a surplus of wheat.